It feels sad, heartbroken, and it just makes me feel angry. And those are just some of the ways a 10-year-old boy is describing how violence in central Arkansas is impacting his life. Our Ashley King sat down with a group of kids to find out what they think about the crime and what they need from adults in order to help them feel safe. Two homicides shooting in Little Rock, getting a shooting that hurt one person and killed another. It feels like almost every morning we're reporting about violence that happened overnight in central Arkansas. Some can distance themselves from it. But for this group of kids at the Whetstone Boys and Girls Club in Southwest Little Rock, it's their reality. Y'all know about any of that stuff that's going on? Do you ever hear about any of the shootings? Um, yes, ma'am. There was one at a school the like the day before yesterday, and then there was one down the street from my house the day before that. Zaya McCormick is 16 years old. She's homeschooled and works at the Boys and Girls Club. When you hear like a shooting happen near your house, what, what goes through your mind? Kind of like a fear, like a wonder of how close it is and if who it was and why. We hide sometimes. Kendall Jackson is 13. But most of the time, we just let them shoot. Yeah, what about you? Um, it feels real, really sad to hear gunshots because we don't know if people are dying or if they're hurt or injured. And we, we hide. Just 10 years old, Deshaun Austin has already experienced losing a cousin to gun violence. He was walking from here and he got shot. Is, is he okay? He's, no, no, he's dead. Oh, he died. I'm sorry about that. My uncle and my cousin were both shot. They died. In the first 10 months of this year, Little Rock saw a 20% increase in homicides. 11 victims were 18 years old or younger, and eight murder suspects were also in that same age range. You guys said y'all don't feel safe walking in your neighborhoods, right? What, what do you, like your, your face is saying it all. What does it feel like when you're, or why, why don't you feel safe? Because you could get shot, you could get Taking, playing with my friends, that's the only time I feel safe because I know it's adults that are out there watching us and that's the only time I feel safe. Is there something that you guys need as, you know, young people that maybe the adults could do to try to help, help stop some of this? We need protection. What do you mean by that? People that can like watch us and keep us safe. It's always shooting. 13 year old Miracle Nowden believes it starts with listening. Cause some people like when they try to talk to somebody about what's going on, the other person won't listen. And so that person get mad and just do harmful things to other people. Cause don't nobody really listen to them. You never really know what somebody is going through. so treat others how you want to be treated. A golden rule that could be the difference between life and death. What you just saw was only a small part of my conversation with this group of kids. A lot of what they said was just so powerful that you'll want to hear it for yourself. You can do that by going to fox16.com slash victory over violence or by using your cell phone camera to scan that QR code on your screen right now. Now there you will find a lot of information on how you can also join our victory over violence campaign. Right now we are working on a number of projects in the Wakefield neighborhood and that's where the Whetstone Boys and Girls Club is located, and that's also where many of the kids I spoke with live. We'll share more on that in the coming weeks. I'm Ashley King. Back to you.